I think the way that uh, that we teach is itself challenging because we ask the students mostly to start by working from their experience into theory rather than the traditional model of working from theory into experience. So, so that's immensely challenging anyway. And because uh, both this, the psychodynamic perspectives and the person-centered approach have different ways of understanding what it means to be human and what it means to practice in counselling, then from the outset, um, both the tutors and the students are confronted with their own prejudices, their own areas of difficulty, of difference, of ways of being in the world. And that's a constant process which doesn't diminish or stop throughout the whole of the training. Any other thoughts on the challenges it throws up? I mean, Craig, you were nodding your head there. Uh, any other feelings about that particular element of it? It can be enormously challenging for students to to experience dialogue as opposed to experiencing simple disagreement or simple agreement to uh, reach our own mm. sense of our own views and opinions and to be in dialogue with another person mm. who may have a very different view a very different stance is fundamentally challenging. Linda your thoughts on that? Well, I think it gets most challenging when you have bits of the theory that, are, uh, that resemble one another, but they are distinctively different. So, for example, um, I would be thinking where you have two concepts, one, let's say, congruence and the other counter-transference coming from, from the separate strands, that what we're offering is challenging because you can find yourself thinking, oh, my bit of theory is better. Um, but you're also working with the other person, as Martha said, in conversation to show students that it, that it can be a way of sorting out ideas and seeing the value in, in both. Um. I suppose the challenge would be um, it's very easy to hold one set of ideas and to deliver teaching in one set of ideas. Um, but the challenge is to be open with that and be willing to really respect and listen and work out, well, what is this dialogue? And mm. I think it's not only for us and working with the students to work out exactly what we're trying to, to say and what we mean. I think we do it between ourselves as mm. tutors. Yeah. Mm. So that increases the academic interest as well.